up cowboys nation boy mike tag here hopefully you guys had a great week heading into the weekend but more importantly make sure you hit that like subscribe share uh just had an awesome time last night with tony throw hill former cowboys super bowl champion just one of the best receivers of all time i mean kelly k9 gave the perfect intro for him as we work through the technical difficulties but make sure you guys Get through that because once we get him working, man, he was on fire and he was bringing it. And that's the kind of passion. That's the kind of just kind of mindset. I think this Cowboys team is lacking a little bit. I mean, it is just it's that championship mentality. I say it over and over again. And you see we're hitting this offseason and there's a lot of shrapnel being thrown at the Cowboys, man. There's a lot of grenades dropping and and everyone's got their own opinion. And I respect everyone's opinion on it. But. You know, I'm hearing today that, you know, it's coming out. I think Jesse Holly, who's obviously uh, well-respected in the Cowboys communities, saying, you know, Micah Parsons is the most selfish player. And, I mean, what great player isn't selfish to some extent? I mean, Jerry Rice was selfish. Emma Smith was selfish. You are going to be selfish if you're a great player to some point. But I don't think he's selfish in the, in the detriment to the team that Jesse Holly was kind of insinuating. So, I'm just going to agree to disagree. I think Micah Parsons is one of the best players in the NFL. He's one of the best pass rushers in the NFL. He's been an all pro first team or second team ever, every year he's been in the league. He's up for defensive player of the year this year, along with Deron Blant. So shout out to them, but I just don't buy all that. I think the Cowboys issue is let's see what happens in this off season. To me, it's, it's kind of in their, in their head and in their heart. And what I mean by that is they got to have that passion and that drive. Like you, you heard it with Tony Hill. We're going to have James Washington, two-time Super Bowl champion, in next week. I guarantee you you're going to hear it with him. And that's what this team needs. And that's what I want to see in the offseason. Who are they going to pick up? Is it going to be the same old thing where we're just going to focus on the guys in the draft and we're going to expect them to come in and start and make an impact? Or are we going to go get – Key guys, doesn't have to be the biggest name guys, but key guys in, in certain positions that can help this team win on the field, but more importantly, in the in the locker room, bring in that championship mentality, that blue collar, that hungry attitude of all they care about is winning a championship. All they care about is football. They don't need a radio show. They don't need a podcast. They don't need to be on TV. That's the hard thing when you're a cowboy all that outside stuff comes with it, and it's how you handle it. You know, other guys got podcasts, and I get it, but the Dallas Cowboy guys on the podcast, that's what's going to be on ESPN. That's what's going to be talked about on NFL Network. So how do you handle that? And that's what I say is they need some just some nasty guys coming in this in the locker room and on the field. And I think they've got that opportunity to sure it up. To me, running back, linebacker, that's got to be the focus. That's got to be the focus for them. Not really through the draft. If they get a guy in the draft, fine. But I need guys that can that can make the impact now. I don't have a couple, two, three years to wait. We need it now. This team is built to win now. You had nine all pros. You had multiple, I don't know how many pro bowlers. You, you got guys up for MVP, offensive player of the year, defensive player of the year. We're talented. You can't tell me this team isn't talented enough to win a championship. It's the intangibles. It's what makes champions great. If you look back again and we get all the great cowboy legends in the cave. So you guys need to make sure if you missed any of it, you go watch it. But listen to what they say. And even the ones that weren't cowboys, go listen to JT Thomas, four-time Super Bowl champion with the Steelers. I played it for Tony Hill. JT Thomas, those Steelers said they won the game in the Super Bowl before it even kickoff because they said they saw the look in the Cowboys' eyes. Now, Tony Hill said it wasn't his eyes he was looking at. I don't know what eyes they were looking at, but it sure to hell wasn't his. But that's the attitude, and that's the confidence, and that's everything else that goes in with winning the championship. So I just want to focus on that. I'm not active on Twitter as much in the offseason. I become more of a troller, but I'll make some stuff here and there. But I'm just more – I want to see actions – from the organization, and I want to see what they're going to do to make that improvement. Again, is it going to be Jerry and Steven with the same old thing? We we got this plan. This is the way we do it. We build through the draft. That ain't working all right now, and um, they got to change it up because this team should be 
we should be talking about them playing this Sunday instead of sitting on the couch. I mean, bottom line is this team was talented enough to do it. And when I see the Lions, and it's a great story with the Lions, they deserve it, take nothing away from it. But when I see the Lions in the championship game, hey, man, that bothers me a little bit. It, it, and it should really bother the players. If it bothers us as fans, it damn well better bother those players. And they've got to fi- they've got to do what they've got to do and look in the mirror and see what do we need to change to get over the hump. So that's what I'm focused on. I'm not focused on Skip Bayless and all the BS he talks about and Stephen A. Smith because they do that for the money, man. They they, they it's all about the money for them. I'm not going to worry about what. You know, CD's mom said, or this person said, or that person said, I don't, that stuff, again, it's all noise. We're in a social media era. That's kind of, you know, that's just what we deal with in today's life and sports. Everyone's got an opinion. You got access to give your opinion instantly. Like, hey, I do it too. We all do it. Um, So I'm not going to worry so much. I want to know what this locker room, that's the key to me, is how is this locker room going to be and what pieces can we bring in to solidify the locker room and improve on this culture? Because right now, I think the culture is a little bit a little bit shaken. I'm not going to say it's broken, but it's a little bit shaken. And they've got to look into themselves and find out what do we need to do and what do I need to do as a player? What do I need to do as a coach? What do I need to do as an owner or GM, whatever, at every level? That's what I got to see from this team. But hey, just wanted to drop a, a quick video. We're going to have, we're having a lot of fun. It's been great interacting, obviously, with everyone on this channel. I built the channel and started the channel with Kelly, with Jimmy. With, with Greg has even been a, a great addition and coming on the fantasy football guys during the season. Of course, our Vegas insider, Uncle Cheech, but really wanted to get this because this is all about the fans. I want to interact with the fans. I'm a fan. I'm not no expert by any stretch. I'm not breaking down all the film. I, well, we'll leave that to the guys that do a phenomenal job with that. And I watch their stuff and I learn and I, and I help get my, you know, help kind of solidify my opinions and thoughts and really confirming is what my eyes seeing right or can I learn something from what I'm watching from those guys and picking up different things so uh, that's what we bring and if you love that you love some passion you love some fun you have a good time then make sure you hit that subscribe make sure you hit the like on the video it doesn't cost you anything make sure you hit that alert bell because Kelly might be coming on at one in the morning dropping some videos and going live or I may be dropping something so you don't want to miss any of it but again Appreciate all the support. I'll say it one last time. If you're a football fan, especially a Dallas Cowboy fan, go back and watch Tony Hill's interview, and you'll see what it is. You'll see what a champion's all about. And he was just one of those guys, very underrated uh, receiver for the Cowboys. He, When he retired, he was one and two in every category. Arguably, why is he not in the ring of honor? Arguably, you can make a case for him for the Hall of Fame. I know it's, you know, Hall of Fame is tough. He only had 10 years. And you think about it, the first year he didn't play because Tom Landry just wasn't big on starting rookies. I mean, he talked about it. And with Tony Dorsett, he didn't get a start till the seventh week. He was stubborn with it, stubborn with it till it got to be a point. He's like, hey, man, we need to get something rolling. We got, we got, we got TD here. Uh, he's too talented, man. So anyway, appreciate all the support, all the love. Having a great time with you guys, and we will be live. Have a fabulous weekend. I'll be hanging out in St. Augustine. Hadn't been there before. It's supposed to be a cool place. I was supposed to be enjoying the NFC Championship game you know, with my Cowboys, wherever they're going to play. But plans changed, so it opened up in the schedule. So I'm going to be a good husband and go hang out for the weekend with the wife and friends. So you guys have a great weekend as well, and hopefully I'll see you guys. If not Sunday night, may come on after, after the game or definitely be live uh, on a uh, on Monday. So you guys have a great weekend. Be safe. Take care. Give me somebody that's hungry. Give me somebody that's hungry. <laughs> I need somebody. <laughs>